All right, people, welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's play some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. As you can clearly see, we are 75.5% complete. We are almost complete with the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monster series with our uh, Red Eyes Rush Duels. I took the deck a little bit. Uh, I took out some of the background heat, like Dust Tornadoes, because I was dead drawing them way too much. And um, I didn't really need them as much, since I really just put in those Triple Dust Tornadoes to beat the first Yu-Gi-Oh! Well, of course, I kept on activating Swords of Bailing Light and Heart of the Underdog, and I was just like, get rid of that, you know? So I took the deck a little bit. I actually have that one 1700 Red Eyes guy that's not played too much. So I kind of threw him in there because, you know, he kind of works as another level 4 Red Eyes guy. If, get, if I get this track, awesome. If I don't, you know, he's still a 1700 beater, which is, you know, a lot stronger than some of the cards that even these guys can uh, can put out. So that's good. So uh, this is pretty much, I want to say, um, the last weekend that this will be the definitive uh, weekend next weekend, you will be getting Yu Gi Oh! Tier Draft League. And if we are not done with this right here, uh, you know, part three and part four, if we're not completely done with Legacy of Zulus by then, then of course you will be getting two videos during the weekend League video and um, this. But this will be cutting down from a half an hour down to just 10 minutes because I don't want to spam you guys too much. So uh, I hope that you guys are still enjoying the content. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching, uh, so much for the support, I really do appreciate it. Life is so hectic, you know, school is a pain, work is a pain, life is a pain, it really is. So this is the guy that I put in, uh, the Red-Eyes Retro Dragon, so, um, is there some way I can, like, see his information, you know? Uh, if I, like, no, if I do that, if I hit three, what does that say? Does this just say check order? Uh, yeah, show details, so yeah, alright. So you ch no, no, not the stone, I wanted to look at him, but I guess I can't, so, uh, or at least right now. So I'm going to go ahead and summon my Red Eyes Gemini Monster, because he's actually pretty good, pretty good. You know, I have to burn for a whole bunch of them, of course, facing Yugi, but it's because so we're pretty much at the end of the Duelist Kingdom art. So we still got a cool month to go. I'm not sure if we're going to get it done in this video and tomorrow's video, but hey, you know, uh, you're still going to be getting that double content, so I hope that you guys enjoyed that as well. So, Yugi, what you got? I busted out this powerful Red Eyes, yep, and you're just going to go on the defensive, so... My opening hand is not terrible, yeah. I might, might, might be able to end the duel this upcoming turn. So yeah, I said I went ahead and threw in Dark Hole. Uh, I don't have any Regekis, so that's not even a thing. So I can actually go Call the Hunted, revive the stone, then banish the stone, special summon Redum. Redum summon the Red Eyes from my deck. Gemini summon uh, the the Flare. So it'll burn for 24. So I like that. I might, I might be able to end this duel. And if not, then shit's gonna go to hell in the handbasket. I can tell you that. If he has like some kind of mirror force or something, that might be game. Yeah. So I'm not even gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and special summon by banishing you. Maybe I should have tributed off then did the banish, because now this isn't even in the graveyard. Uh, yeah, I kind of messed up there. Of course, this is going to burn for 24. Then this and this attacking. Maybe that might be game? Might be game. So yeah, you can just go ahead and get rid of that fucker. Hit you for 24, hit you for 28, hit you for 24. Is that game? I don't think it's game. I think I'm 400 short? Yeah, I'm 400 short. So rip on that. The so flare will burn you. And then, I mean, I seriously doubt you'll do anything. But, just, let's go ahead and start it off with a nice XC7, because it looks cool. And if Yugi plays literally anything, if he plays literally anything, he's dead. Yeah. You know this play with freaking Flare, you know? So even if he had like a Regeki or something, you play a Regeki, a Kevin Strike, a card effect, and you get burned, so, you know. So don't even think about doing anything. Even though I don't think you are, you're probably just gonna be like, draw, set a monster in your turn, I'm assuming. <gasps> Shocker, you know? But this back row, you can't activate that either, you know? Of course, unless it's something to get rid of Flare, because Flare has to be on the field to resolve the Alright, here's the guy, here's the guy who I wanted to go ahead and, and actually, uh, and look at, so. Uh, if a level 7 or lower Red Eyes monster you control, except for Chick, is destroyed by opponent's attack or card effect in the center grave, right? Well, it's cards in your hand, special summon it, defense position if you do, go to summon as many of the destroyed monsters as possible that they were destroyed, you can chip this card, you could normal. You can strip this card. You can normal summon one red eyes monster during your main phase, except for in addition to your normal set. Okay, so does that mean that he counts as the, the it would be nice if he counted as the double tribute, or you know, I could just special summon red eyes. But it's just like I summon him, tribute him off, and then it's like, hey, you get an additional summon to tribute summon for a red eyes. So you still gotta tribute summon for the red eyes. It's just like, all right. So like I said this should be game. 
And then we can go ahead and move on to the next duel and the next duel and the next duel and the next duel. But at least we're done Duelist Kingdom arc. No, oh, bye Celtic Guardian. I say even if you had uh, the what's a obnoxious Celtic Guardian, I could still kill him. So, all right, so that's done. All right, so uh, match of Millennium. Okay, and then yeah, I think this is the start of the Merrick arc. So I'm gonna be playing as that evil, uh, evil um, Bandit Keith. So we're I'd say we're about halfway done. Yeah, percentage says we're about halfway done. You know. Uh, I'm gonna go second. Because uh, not only do I get the second job, but then I also get to attack first, so that's nice. Yeah. It's so di weird and different to switch off from, you know, Tech Quest 5 and this, where the rules are different, the gameplay is different, you know. But, you know, I'm having fun with both games, you know. Alright, so I can actually just go ahead and bust this motherfucker out right, right now, so that's actually pretty good, pretty good. I can, I can bust out both of these, actually, so I can go ahead and do him. Do the stone. Stone will summon my Gemini monster, and then I can actually just go ahead and summon my Lord of Red. So, yeah, this is actually a really good opening hand. Like it really is. So I drop Flare down to one because I really only need one Flare. You know, if I'm gonna actually choose for my deck, I'd rather use the regular Red Eyes because he counts as dead normal. Yeah. So I'm gonna summon you by choosing you and you. I'm gonna keep you in the hand just in case shit hits the fan. I can just go like, you know, if you play like Regeki, I can just be like, nope, you know. She knows I'm actually doing against Little Yugi and not, you know, Pharaoh, so. Oh, killed Asian Eyes by Dragon right there. Hit you for 24, and it's already looking pretty bad. Now, of course, this won't save Lord of Red, because I believe it's Red Eyes Monsters, right? Oh, damn, he's just gonna go fucking Ancient Rules on my ass, so he's just gonna bust out Summon Skull, all the shit. <laughs> and he's just gonna attack over me, yep. Yep. So, because you killed my red eye, see so you fucked up, so you killed my Lord of Red, I can summon him. My retro dragon. Summon this back. Oh, uh, but that didn't count as a card effect going off. Like really? I mean, I guess on the field and he activated in hand, so. Yeah, this is definitely activate my boy. And then whatever I summon will be able to kill you anyway, so. So we're gonna go ahead and like I said, I can run him over, so that's not even a threat, so I'll just go ahead and pop this back row, because I'm not sure what it could be. It could be something. Like I say, it could be a threat, but it's not. And then, of course, then the summon skull for my deck, and then some the red eyes for my deck. And bam, get that power play. And I think Yugi Boy, I think this might be game. That's like one of the best top decks. That summon skull play, that was actually pretty good. Pretty good. They definitely countered me. You know. So, I can activate the effect, now I'm just going to turn to attack, and then, okay, I can't use my additional summon, so, we'll just go ahead and attack over you. So you messed up, you really should have just killed my, uh, my, uh, Lord of Red, instead you were like, hey, go ahead that Red Eyes, and I was just able to summon right back with the introdu uh, introduction of that Retro Dragon, my boy. You got Karibo? Not, that's game, my boy. And this door real quick. Yep. Hey, see, it's like those like that. It makes it seem like we're gonna need it real quick. All right, so maybe I should just play with his deck. Just play with his fucking cheating ass second Exodia deck. <laughs> uh, that might be kind of funny. Just play and just be like, oh, Exodia, haha, -ha. in your face, fucking Yugi, fuck you, Yugi. <laughs> so I believe this is the guy who he uh, who plays the Exodia, right? I think I want to say. Might be incorrect about that. I don't remember. <laughs> It's been such a long time. Wow, this opening hand is... Eh. Nah. This at least, it's nah. Because the one play I could do is I don't want to do this, but I can. And I can summon him, and banish him, special summon him, and then he can summon the red eyes from my hand. So, it's a good play. It's still a strong play, but it's just I had to banish, you know, my, uh... My metal, and I actually like him. My black metal. So, go ahead and attack. He's like, he's like, oh, I'm gonna set this 1700 booty, that'll definitely survive, like, no. <laughs> the way that I bust out fucking beaters. But hey, and now, even if Yugi actually summons the summon skull like he did last time, wow, you know, he made spellbinding circle. RIP. <laughs> Alright. I mean, I, the thing that's different is that, unlike Fiendish Chain, I can still activate my effects, so I can just keep on pumping out dragons, my boy, so. But you might still be in trouble. You might still be in trouble. 
you know? So I can actually just go ahead and activate my effect, summon the red ice from my hand. Feel like, oh yeah, man, free the shame, man, I got you. Like, not really. Oh, I can't turn my back position, so if this is mirror force, I might be getting fucked up right now. But you know what? Let's just go ahead and go into flare, so even if it is mirror force, you know, I can't be destroyed by card effects. <laughs> Yeah, you you what you think about that? I'm a fucking I'm a fucking seeker. I'm seeker boy. I I have fucking shit you've never seen before. Alright, so I can't activate the effect because I don't have the red eyes in the graveyard. So if I can find a way to detach then I win, but I'm a normal summon, but I'm probably gonna No, this is Byron. Let's say if it was the other one, I'd probably keep it in my hand. This is Ryron, so so I definitely should have summoned that first fortune back in my face, but it's fine, it's fine, we're doing fine. And I said, you ain't gonna do shit. He ain't gonna do shit. I think that might be game. I don't think I have any, uh, Link 4 of these. That'd be nice if I did, but I don't think I do, so. Everybody attacking the shit be game? Is this game Yugi Boy? I'm so glad that this game, this game, like, I don't know how I acquired this, acquired this Red Eyes deck, but I'm just glad I have it, because it just makes this so much easier. Like, I was seriously just struggling against that first deal against Sugi, you know? But they're just like, hey, here's the Red Eyes deck, you now fully made, pretty much. And it's just like, nice, you know? Besides not giving me any fucking Red Eyes. Like, that, that kind of pissed me off. Like, what the fuck? You don't give me a Red Eyes deck without actual Red Eyes Red Eyes, you know? And I don't have one summon skull. So if I draw that one summon skull, I can't even fucking do my fusion from the deck, so... You know, that can definitely be an issue, but, you know, I'd literally have to sit there and open packs of, I guess, Yugi? I'm assuming Yugi's pack would probably have some skull. So, uh, Yugi's just gonna go ahead and set one and set a butt ton of back row, so. That's fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and do fusion for my deck. And that's, this time, I actually have Dark Hole, so if he decides to, like, snatch steal or kill and take my shit, I have the Dark Hole to actually get rid of it this time. Good. That's how I fucking lost to Yugi in that one session. I think I was part one. I fucking lost to Yugi because he just took my my uh, Archfiend Black Skull Dragon and I was just like, I cannot get around that. Now I have Dark Hole in here, just in case. Yeah. Go ahead and summon him, and of course, even if you do have a... Uh... Wow, you're just going to hit me with the Spellbinding Circle before I even attack. Like, I see you, Yugi boy. Alright. Alright. I see you, fuck boy. I'm just going to go ahead and end my turn. So if I get like a Miss Tier Destiny, I'll um, actually just pop the Spellbinding Circle, but that was actually a bad, a terrible play. And tribute one for Summon Skull, yeah. <laughs> there we go, back it again, Summon Skull. I have Summon Skull, you have Summon Skull, you, she, we, Summon Skull. <laughs> um, I mean, there's really nothing I want to do right now, because I want to wait until next turn so I can Dust Tornado the uh, Spellbinding Circle. He's got Dust Tornado my Dust Tornado! Damn, Yugi! Oh my god! I was like, I'm a Dust Tornado, see? Freaking Dust Tornado is fucking trash, man. I wish I had more MSTs, but I only have one. Ah. Uh. Yeah, at this point, I'm just gonna fucking, I'm just gonna fucking back home. Okay, do you go off or it's only by your opponent? Yeah, only destroyed by your opponent. Rip. Rip! Alright, so. <sighs> that sucks. <laughs> he got me, but of course I do have, like, Call of the Hunters and shit, so I can always summon him back, eventually. Um, of course, Slayer. Damn, Yugi boy. You, you're actually playing pretty nice this duel. I see you, I see you, my boy. I'm gonna go ahead and pop you in the face for 24. Yep, Mirror Force? Yep. Yeah, yeah Yugi. As you see, I have my Retro. Oh, Retro. Damn, Retro's coming through. And re declare. <laughs> He's like, Mirror Force? Like, nah, Retro. <laughs> Alright, what you got, Yugi? Like, your, your Retro is like perfect to counter me. Like, perfect. Curtain, yep. Summon Dark Magician, shit! Now you summon a Dark Magician on my ass? Yep. Damn, Yugi put up a fight! Yugi's like, I'm not going, I'm not fucking going down, my boy. He's like, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, Akana, I'm not supposed to lose this duel. Like, alright. I see you, fuck boy. But you see, that now would be a great time to have like 101 or Castell or something like that, but I don't, of course, don't have it, so. Of course, I'm gonna go ahead and get my, uh, what's it called? I'm gonna activate this. So I'm gonna go ahead and off these two. And I believe, maybe, I can activate this effect tribute off? 
Because I believe the tribute is cost, which means that I'm activating something on the field, right? Let's see if this works. Yep. Then, because he activated, I can go ahead and chain, then pop your Dark Magician. Ah, that was actually a cheeky play! That was actually a cheeky play! I would neg on it, but you know what? The retro, retro is the MVP of this duel, definitely. You know, he, he allowed me to get that attack in, he allowed me to do that tribute play, like, Retro came for for this duel. You can put up a good fight in that duel, I'm gonna say. Like, Retro was like, nah, boy, I'm in here, I'm in it to win it. Alright. So we're about halfway done with this episode. Yeah. And I'm actually, it's not very often that I don't record in one city, but right now I'm not. You know, I go to work in like a couple hours, so I'm just going to record this, get this done, this section on Friday. I go to work in a couple hours to record this, get this done, have this up here by Saturday, which means I have to wake up the crack of dawn to record on Saturday, which I really can't because I actually have a work meeting on Saturday. But that, I go to that work meeting and then, you know, I don't work on Saturday, I'm off. That's great, you know. So, uh, it means that, uh, uh, I'm trying to think what I want to do right now. Uh, I guess I can go ahead and summon Wyvern. Special summon Red on, and special summon the, uh, the Red Eyes from my hand. So it means that I can record on Saturday, and uh, I'm also still busy on Saturday with other things, but at least it's not, you know, dealing with work. You know? And then, of course, I got school work. But, you know, uh, I got another project to do, and I still got to finish week three's homework, and then I got finals, so it, it's a pain. It's a pain, it really is, but what you gonna do, right? God, I got so much, like, recovery. Like, I had the spirit, I got called out, I, I got retro. Like, you, you don't kill my red eyes. Like, I, I'm just grabbing back, my boy. Fucking Joey over here is getting his fucking booty hole smashed. Like, Becky, let me smash. Alright, so if I do this, if I do this, special summon the stone, then tribute off the stone, that means that I still have my normal summon, because I didn't use my normal summon to actually summon the stone. So it means that when I summon flare, I can use my normal summon to get flare effect to actually burn you to get that burn effect. No, no, no not call out to summon fire. Yee. Hey, that's a pretty good play. Now, the only way that this shit can hit the fan with this play, the only way, is if he had, like, a mirror force. Not really, because I can have seven retro, and they, they would, I think they would all come back. Oh, wow. Or scapegoat. That's definitely a way to fuck me. Alright, all right, Joey. I wanted to end this duel, but you're lost. Like, nope, scapegoat. Now I'm going to link summon. <laughs> Might as well need Claire and kill one of the tokens, even though you're gonna die next turn, Joey. So, of course, replay. The field has changed. Stop with the freaking call of the haunted. I don't need to activate it right now. Alright, yep. Damn, how's it feel, Joey boy? I'm just fucking busting out the red eyes on your ass. You're like, oh shit. So, as I said, despite his scapegoat tokens, he's gonna die next turn, or at least he should. No, I don't want to activate that. I want to activate Flare. Burn you for 24, and then next turn attack, burn you for 24, and that will be game, so. I could go for a uh, Flare Metal right now. But, I don't want to. <laughs> so, what you got, Joey? Yep, just setting them off at the end of your turn, that's all you got. This Call of the Hunt is driving me crazy, I'm about to activate it just so it'll stop fucking asking me. Summon in Lord of the Red, too. Then just enter battle phase. Attack one of the tokens. I attack with it. Nope. And flare. Burn for 24 in this game. Eee. You like getting burned by your own shit, Joey? Alright. Now it's time for him to lose to my power of Slifer, except not Slifer. So, I, I don't know, I don't know, I think we're going at a fair speed. I don't think we'll finish by tomorrow, because we still got, you know, the blimp, and we still got um, the duels uh, for Dragon Duel, so we, we still got a cool minute before we're done. Well, well, there I go. There, I went and drew Summon Skull, so looks like I won't be fusing from my deck.
I really suck, right? Like, I kind of want to, like, sit there and actually, wow, and then I do the fucking fusion. Uh, I could still do it? Yeah, I believe I could still do it. But I'm not fusing from my deck, I'm still I'm fusing from my hand, so. So, rip on that, so, of course, on my hand, so I'm negging. I can still do it, but I'm just negging. I shouldn't be negging. I shouldn't be negging this play. I should have another summon skull in my deck, but I don't, so. I think, there, I think you play two in the deck. You generally play two summon skulls. Alright. So. So, you keep going. You got that, uh, Spellbinding Circle like you did last time? You can do. I got the MST, so. Nope. Alright. Can't, can't activate anything? Damn, your giant soldier is stone. You're like 2,000 booty, my boy. Not like summon a 3,200 monster. With the ease, the greatest of ease. And I'm gonna, I'm not gonna use the effect for right now. It's gonna go ahead and do my turn. No. So, what you got, Yugi? Wow, there you go. Save Dynasty for them fucking swords of Veiling Light. Like fuck you, Yugi. You fucking suck. I don't give a fuck. Like, give me this MST. Get that shit out of here. Fucking always hide behind your Charger of Veiling Light. Always. Hate that card. I really do. I'm not a big fan of that card. And just in case he has Mirror Force, I still have a uh, uh, Retro. So. so we'll just go ahead and summon Flare. Got two frickin' uh, transmigrations, but nothing to do with them, so. so we'll go ahead and pop you for this 2200 before you play Mirror Force, just in case. Then now if you want to play the Mirror Force, then I believe I get to redeclare. Or oh, you can hit me with a magical cylinder right in my fucking face. Yep. Alright. I see you, Yugi boy. Uh, nah. You don't go for game anyway. So you can even activate that magical cylinder on my fucking. Oh my god! Yugi, stop! Stop! Wow. That's actually kind of annoying. <laughs> like, really? Really, fuckboy? It's swords. Get rid of it, swords! <laughs> Like, what are you stalling out for? You don't even have fucking good. You're just stalling just for the sake of stalling. Oh, uh, alright. Nah, I kinda wanna hold on to you. Watch me draw it. I would say, watch me draw fucking, uh... Uh, what's it called? Uh... Shit! I forgot his name. Uh, Lord of Red. You get with that pretty confident. Success still, like I said, I only have one MST, so you're safe for now. Uh how's activating? Oh, stone. Ah, I mean I have plays, but there's just no reason to do those plays as long as swords are being lighted up, so it's two. Like look, look you you're just stolen, but you're not doing anything. Oh my god, wow, wow. Top deck, believe in the heart of the cards, top deck giant tornado to restart the fucking swords. I hate you, Yugi. I hate you. I hate you so much. Like, wow. How many times do you gotta play fucking swords of the light and get on my fucking nerves? Like, <laughs> like, what is this bullshit? Like, stop stalling. Just die. I wanna kill you, like. I could kill you, I could strangle your neck right fucking now, but no! I'm gonna do Nate, stop, please, please, swords! Like, alright, alright. I'm gonna fucking man guards. And then now he's just playing with his fucking, fucking feral amp, like, tech mode, defense mode, tech mode, defense mode, tech mode, defense mode. Wow, actually, th th three of my fucking, uh, transmigration before I drew fucking, uh, um, Lord. Like, wow, that's sad. If I, if I could actually summon Lord right now, I would have a game. Or at least be close to- yeah, I think I've had a game. Because I summon Lord, then I can activate something to pop the sword, attack with, um, with, um, with Black Archery, and then burn you for the remaining, because I believe the difference between us is definitely more than enough. Is it 1900? No, it still wouldn't be game, actually. Ugh. 
Like, I don't like you right now, Yugi. I'm actually mad at you. I'm legitimately mad that you actually did that shit. Stalling for fucking turns on turns on turns. Like, what the fuck? We probably could have got another fucking message. If you play another fucking Sword Girl Will Light, my boy, I will fucking murder you. I will be so fucking pissed if you play another Sword Girl Will Light. Wow, he has a lot of card destruction. Card destruction, hand destruction, card destruction, hand destruction. Like, wow. Swords. Wow, we're so fair to me. Alright. And he's going deeper in his deck. He's trying to get that another Sword Girl Will Light, right? A fucking trigger to space and beyond. <laughs> wow, really? Really? No. No. Wow. I don't even want to talk right now. Like, I'm, I'm legitimately salty. Like, stop with the fucking sword. So it's real light, so it's real light, so it's real light, so it's real light. Like, oh my god. You know what the sad thing is? Is that I, I'm now I'm literally all out of this fucking ritual place, so I can't even summon fucking Lord right now. Like, that's the really suck thing, so I literally have nothing to get rid of that shit right now. Like, I have fucking nothing. Like,. I'm gonna tribute summon for red eyes, and then exceed these two. Like, I'm so salty! <laughs> Alright, and then the leaf's going to flare, so if he plays shit, I can just burn him, you know? Slowly burn him until, until he's dead. And he just keeps playing fucking. I know, I would I know it. After all that drawing, it wouldn't be even fucking even close if we didn't get another fucking Swords of Gun Light, right? Wow, well, now I can actually summon another Red Eyes from the graveyard, I believe, by tapping this material. I can have a Red Eyes in the graveyard, which means that I can actually detach the summon. And then his effect only acts as well as Xe materials. But then, if I do it again, I can sub summon another copy of him. I'm done. I'm done. I could I could have killed you a long fucking time ago, fucking fuck boy. You even no, fucking stalling with fucking swords, like really. Oh yeah, monster born. Yep yep yep. At least I burn you for five hundred. You know you're just gonna run over my uh. Yep, run over my flare that I just summoned back, like that I just summoned back. Yep. You activated something, so you get burned for another 500, my boy. Oh, well, I thought I was going to be able to get another duel in after this, but I think this is going to be the last duel by the time fucking Yugi stalls out with his fucking swords and shit. Yeah, it's going to be time. We're already at almost, we're at 28 minutes. Like, no. Now I draw the fucking Lord. Like, look at this shit. Look at this shit. <laughs> huh? Go ahead. I got nothing. No, is that two? Like, there's no point in activating him. There's no point. I just want this duel to end, like fucking Yugi. And the end is like, oh, I don't need my dust tornadoes and shit anymore. Yeah, I don't even see my dust tornado. Like. No, stop with the wyvern. Three, get rid of that. And finally, can I kill you, Yugi? Can I finally fucking murder you in cold blood? You gonna go on the defensive now? Good. The fuck out of my face, Yugi. I'm tired of your bullshit. I really am. But now it's just time to end you. It doesn't really matter what I summon back. We just need a dragon. No. Summon you back. Special summon you. Get into you. Summoning a dragon back. Like, 
I'm so tired of your shit, Yugi. Dragon back. Where's my flare? There he is. My like, flare's tired of your shit. I'm tired of your shit. Like, this duel is fucking shit. You're fucking shit, Yugi. I'm tired of you. I hate you. You're stally. Piece of crap. <laughs> He stalled off. He stalled for long enough. <laughs> fucking triple sword to the villain, like, and giant grenade to reset. Like, I guess that's fair because I fucking MST'd one of them. So it's kind of like, oh, nope, nope. Gotta uh, make sure that, uh. Go ahead and kill this. Just in case it was something with the flip effects. <laughs> like, I don't even know what he was stalling out for. Like, I guess he was trying to deck me out. Guess that was the plan? Hi. Fucking red eyes for fucking spitting fucking hot fire fucking mixtape on your ass, Yugi. Just die. Thank you, we're done. No creep but save your ass either. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't like dueling you with Yugi. Alright, so we're all the way up to Yugi vs. Korra, so we're getting there. We're getting there. Like I said, could we finish these all tomorrow? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I definitely think combined with tomorrow and next weekend's 10 minute, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll get this all done. So how, what's our percentage now? 87.7% dead people, alright? So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duel. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time with some more... Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play. Uh, and see you guys tomorrow with some more Legacy of the Duelists, more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. Alright, people, thanks for watching.